Hello, welcome back to 3D Drawing for your model railway. Today's episode, we're starting to make the power wagon we described in the announcement. So the first thing we're going to do is import the, the canvas. So again, go and insert canvas and then insert from my computer. And we're just going to search through my folders to find the canvas here. And then import that into Fusion, selecting any face to put it on. I'm selecting that one. So it's side face between the blue and the red, and I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to flip that horizontally so that we're looking at it the correct way around. Next thing we need to do is calibrate the canvas. As usual, you need to make sure it's all the right scale. So we're going to select two endpoints here, so from there. And distance is 19.2 meters, so we're going to do 19200 millimeters and then divide by 148 for British end scale. Obviously, you can, you can pick whichever scale you're deciding to work to. So we've got the canvas imported now, then we, need, we now need to start thinking about how to draw this. Now, if you look at the wagon, the majority of this is symmetrical, so we've got a symmetrical line down the midpoint and it's also symmetrical across the wagon as well. So what we shall do is create a sketch initially on the front surface here and I'm just going to draw a rectangle starting in the end there and I'm going to come across to where the midpoint of the wagon is which is approximately, now in fact let's go the other way, let's go all the way to the end and then we can create the whole wagon and cut it apart. We know that's the end point. You can see how it's the drawing slightly curved there. It's not the end of the world we could, as long as we remember to, to compensate for that as we work our way along the model. So we've got the, the initial rectangle. We can define the length and the height of the under. That's probably yeah. That's probably a bit too too long. Deep actually. Let's just Delete that. Um, not sure why, but that should be. Oh, yeah. We don't want dimension. We want to drag that. I'm just going to drag that up. Just match the door in there. Good. And then we'll define the height. Let's go two millimeters just to make cleaner with it. Okay. So that's going to give us you know, a rough thickness of a foot. So now we're going to extrude the width of the wagon here. So we rotate this round. Okay, I'm going to do a symmetrical extrusion there. and the width of the wagon is uh, 7 foot 9 inches and that works out at 2362 millimetres and then we're going to divide that by 148 again for the British end scale uh, why have we got a taper angle? Hmm. ok, uh, just going to create a new body there for some reason, this is at an angle. Now, I don't know if this is something to do with Fusion's new update. So that's putting that at an angle. Okay, so that difference with perspective and orthographic had somehow changed. I'm guessing it's something to do with the update they did at the weekend. So just change that back to orthographic. So now we're looking at it end on now. So because we've placed this on the, the Origin. We know that the midpoint now is always going to be the origin, origin line coming across. We're going to create a midpoint now for the length of the wagon, so that we've got the the construction planes there. So if we find a midplane, we're going to select both ends as our two sides, and then we've got the centre point of the wagon that we can work from. Um, so now that we've got that, we're going to split this into four parts. We use our splitting tool. Initially, we're going to use the origins. So we're going to select the body, and then we're going to split it down the midpoint. 
click on OK. That's the midpoint split. And then we're going to split the body again on the midpoint, which up, down the bottom here. I might actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just create, I'm going to create a mid-plane going the other way rather than use the origin, just for simplicity. So, mid-plane there. Okay, and then we'll split, split the body using that point. So now we've got three bodies here. I'm going to get rid of the ones that we don't need. So get rid of that one. So body one, I'm going to use remove, not delete. And rotate upwards. I'm going to remove body two as well. So we're just going to be basically drawing a quarter of the wagon and then everything else from that point onwards is just going to be mirrored across for simplicity. So the next one we're going to create on the, the border we've got is this stepped edge here. You can see it's slightly tapered at the end and it sticks out. And back into Fusion, we can create a sketch on the right way. Yep. Get a sketch on this front surface. You can see how it's stepped up slightly from the bottom. So again, we're just going to use a rectangle, selecting the midpoint there. I'm going to bring it across to the length of the drawing. It wants to try and snap to the midpoint between the body. I'm going to go slightly below it. And then we're going to define that as 1.3 millimeters high and the length 45 millimeters. So if we look at the picture, it steps out there probably about six inches, I would say. So we're going to bring that out by a millimeter for engage. So extrude that, which is going to come out one millimeter, gives us that step edge there. And we're going to taper this last 12 inches or so. In slightly. So again, coming into Fusion, I'm going to rotate onto the top plan, create a sketch on the top surface there using the line tool. There is a little bit of a step coming out. If you look at that, it's probably, probably about half the width of that, so that's about three inches. So we just find that midpoint, and then I'm going to draw a line like that, and I'm going to find distance from there. Uh, two millimeters, and then I'm going to extrude off to the other side that edge to give us the tapered look that we've got here. So if you just look, compare that with that, uh, it looks pretty similar to what we've got there. The next thing I'm going to create is this bottom floor here and all these uprights going from the top to the bottom there. Come back into Fusion, rotate that around. You can see we've got our, all our points here. I'm going to draw a, a rectangle. Again, we're looking to draw off of the midpoint. So we've still got the midplane turned on here. And I'm going to draw a, a rectangle tool. And I want it to snap in line with the edge here. So it's going to project. Turn that construction line off there and project that edge. Okay, so now again I'm going to draw, snap into that edge a rectangle. And I'm going to go from about there. Find that. So, yeah, I'm going to go for about 30.2 millimeters and the height one millimeter. If we look at the picture, we, we look like we've probably got about six inches there. So one millimeter seems a reasonable distance to to select there. Next thing is going to have the the rectangles coming down. Okay, so we're going to actually we're going to find the height 
in the bottom edge there just for that snap. We can extrude this floor. I'm gonna come to let's have a look. I'm gonna go to the inside here. So rather than the outside here, I'm gonna come to extrude to that point there. Okay, I'm allowing it to create a new body, that's fine, because we will be joining these up in a minute. Uh, the body, we've drawn it flat here, uh, but if you look at the pictures, there there is holes and things on there, so I will create that a, a little bit later on. I'm just using that to create a, like a placeholder that we can work from there. Again, we've done the same the top. The, the top's got holes in it as well, so I'm just going to use that as a, as a placeholder. The these uprights, so we're looking here. They're probably four inches or so, uh, which is about point. Six, no, 0.5 millimeters, which is a little bit on the thin side. So I'm just going to beef them up a little bit just for extra strength. I'm just going to go for um, a draw on this surface here. I'm going to draw a rectangle to the top where it snap. And why is it not lined up at the end there? They should all be lined up. Let's just check this sketch. Let's go back in here. That sketch. So that should be vertically constrained at that point there. Let's finish that. So they should match now. If we come back into the sketch we just created, let's project that edge. And we should be able to draw a rectangle in there. And that that looks like it's snapped. Um, so I'm going to draw this as 0.3 millimeters wide. And snap to that top. The reason I'm doing that 0 0.3 is obviously when we move it that across, it's going to be um, 0 0.6 on the other side here. So we're at 0.3, and we're going to extrude that. Extrude that just to give it a bit of thickness. And we'll go for minus 0. I'm going to go 0.7. So I now need to create them further down as well. In fact, let's just actually undo that. Let's edit that feature. I'm going to create that as a new body. And then I'm going to mirror that. Mirror that body. The mirror plane, I'm going to use that inside surface. Let them join. So Turn off those, they can join into one part, and then I can use the pattern tool to bring it across. So, rectangular pattern, selecting bodies, select that one we've just drawn, and direction being horizontal. We've got one, two, three, four, five more, so we need six in total. And then let's drag that across. Oh, actually, no, we don't want that. Um, that's going to be minus 29.9. Then it's on the end there. Uh, that's it. So 29.9, put it in the correct position at the end. Yes, these look like they're offset, but I'm looking at this picture and I'm thinking they're probably all going to be pretty even. So I'm going to just leave them like that with an even spacing at 29.9 millimeters across six six of them in total so the next thing i'm going to do is create the diagonal bracing that goes across the four here again looking for some confusion create a sketch on the front surface here and i'm just going to draw the one of them and i'm going to use the, um, the copy body and rectangle pattern so, yeah, we've got in the corner on the bottom on one side and in the corner on the top on the other side. So, we're going to create a line. And I want to put that here. I'm going to project that edge first. And I'm going to create a line. I'm going to go from that corner. And I'm going to project the top edge as well. So, we've got the line going up.
took that line and we brought a line across the middle. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to do these thickness wise, they look slightly thicker than the uprights. So I've done the uprights at 0 0.6, so I'm going to do these at I think 0 0.8. Eight will be okay. So I'm going to draw a dimension from there to there of 0 0.8 millimeters, and then from there to there of 0 0.8 millimeters as well. And that will then you know, fully define that. I can then select that part, and then I can extrude that. I'm going to go to the back of the trace that we've already drawn. Click on OK, and that should join that in. Okay, and then I'm going to do rectangular pattern and select the features that we've just drawn. We might have to ask her out of the new body, we'll have a quick look in a sec. Direction, transfer the yeah, see how it's dragging everything, so I'm just going to come back, edit feature, change that to new body, and then do the rectangular pattern, selecting that body, direction, I'm going to need two of them initially. So they're coming across the six millimeters. Click on OK. And then we can do the rectangular pattern again, selecting uh, the initial body, which is that one, and the one which is copied. Direction coming across. We're going to need to pattern that twice. And we can bring that in. and that puts it on those two as well. So now we've got lots of bodies here that will all these uprights and we've got the parts drawn that we need. Uh, so what I'm going to do is combine, so the original body is body three and then it's going to combine all the rest of them. Click on an OK. All right, next thing I'll do is I'm going to extrude that back in the original body position. Okay. So we now have about the full width that it's supposed to be. And then I think the last thing we'll do on this today is add this upright on the end here, which is a slightly different angle to the original here. So we can create a sketch on the bottom. Let's draw a line. Okay. Oops. I don't want to do that because that's short. What I don't want there, so it's going to come up. I'll have to project that to height again. And let's draw that line in. It's just a slightly different angle to these ones, but if you do look at, at these, you can see that there clearly is a different angle on there as well. So we've got that up right, and I'm going to actually project that line there. I want the same height position there. And that's pretty top. Let's find the distance between those two points. We know it's going to be one millimeter. So I'm going to find the distance there. Oops, I can do that. I'm going to do that. Let's define that one first so it doesn't move. And then define the second one as one millimeter. Then we're just going to extrude it to the same inside thickness as these ones. Click on OK. There you go. So we've got the, the top half and the bottom half of the wagon drawn there. And I'm going to leave the video further at that point there for the next next episode. So I hope you enjoyed that and you've been able to follow along to create that basic initial body shape. And if you have, please like and subscribe to stay notified when the next video goes online. Thanks for watching.